welcome back to the garage. In this video, we're gonna be modifying the T-bracket and modifying the subframe to fit the all-wheel drive, B-series all-wheel drive transmission. On uh, the last episode or video, we put in the, we modified the S1 built uh, DIY trailing arms and installed them and also installed the uh, Jack Spanier Racing rear lower control arms. And I actually, Put in the other side here I'll show you see i got the other one completely installed fully all done but this video i was planning on just showing you the gas tank removal real quick and installation of the transmission but it really was going to be uh the diy uh diff mount that i was going to do but I realized that the T-bracket doesn't fit, and also I need to modify the subframe. A lot of people just bash the subframe out, but I wanted to cut it and plate it back in there to make a notch, to make it much easier to take the transmission out. And I also cut a section, a little piece off of the subframe there to make it easier when the transmission is going up and down. But I can show you that all right now. So, if you can see the bolt that's right across the bolt hole it's right across normally this would be the bolt you would bolt hole you would use that would go into right here but if you can see it's about i don't know an inch or two too short so i cut this flush and i'm gonna put a piece of straight metal on there and i'm gonna i'm gonna drill a hole first i think and then put the metal on there and then weld it on and then i think i'm gonna slide the transmission up there and make sure the everything fits up and then if it looks good and both the bolt holes go in i'll pull that back off and i'll lop off the other side and weld a piece of metal with a hole on it and put a bolt through it and weld all that back together and at the same time i'm going to be welding i'm going to be welding up this frame that i cut out of here so this came out you know to here and to get the transmission in there because it's longer here and everything i'm just going to hit this out a little bit more and then just box it in with the l here and i'm going to leave this open for the transmission and then this is the little bit that i cut off the subframe to make that fit in there much easier because you know we're working on the ground and we want this to be easy to go in and out with the with the jack because that all-wheel drive transmission right there Sorry, video got cut off, but that all-wheel drive transmission right there is very heavy. It's probably about twice as heavy as a front-wheel drive. But anyways, enough talking here. Let's get to work, and I'll start welding, and I'll uh, show you some clips and show you what we got. All right, so instead of cutting a piece of metal, I decided to just cut this old T-bracket I had. I just, you know, <clears throat> went over there and... Basically, basically just, you know, went to the edge of this, into the edge of this hole, put it in there, went over and came over here, Oop. came over here, scrubbed the line, cut her off, now we got this tab here. Slide in there. Get it positioned correctly here. And get it. Should just be able to, you know. Tack that on there now. Once the transmission's in there, so I can make sure it's at the right angle, you know, with those those two bolt holes right there. So, next, what I'm going to do is, I think I'm going to... Drop the phone. Next, I'm going to... 
cut out some cardboard A to design, make a little CAD there, stuff it in there and see if it works, and then cut it out of metal, and then probably tack that in, and then slide the transmission up in there, and see if everything fits. And pull it back out. Weld her up. Now, if you don't have one of these, you know, you can normally bend in them, you know, whatever, a vice and shit. But for what this costs, 50, 70 bucks from Harbor Freight, it's really nice. It's, it's helped out quite a bit, you know. They do, you can buy one that's like the Swag Off-Road one. But I made my own custom one that I have here, you know, presses down do the same thing but you know that's for thick metal You're supposed to clamp this thing down, but I'm gonna try and be lazy right now. And just hold it because it's thin metal. Nope, it ain't gonna work. There you go. That's not the greatest, but better than a vice. Yeah, I think I'm gonna put it in like that. And I'll probably trim that once I weld it in there.
All right. Well, today's another day. I ended up getting that all welded in. You know, ain't the prettiest, but whatever. Uh, painted it. I ended up doubling the metal up because I realized afterwards that the metal I put in there wasn't thick enough and I wanted to not have a, you know, crunch point. So that's all done. Now I'm going to put the tranny in and then we'll get it in there and weld the T-bracket up. All right, well, we've been doing a lot of work and finding a lot of things out. First off, I got the transmission in there, and I got the Hasport B-Series all-wheel drive mount in there. Uh, had to make a little bit of modification for that. I recommend taking this stud out. I didn't once it was in the car. It was kind of hard, but it makes it hard getting it in. And two, I had to grind out this area to get the bolt in. And I also had to grind, there's a nub here. It's down here. I had to grind all that off just to even make it easier to get the bolt in. Um, but yeah, with this T-bracket here, I was actually incorrect. That bolt right there bolts right in. And what we had to do is modify the rear here. It looks kind of ugly just because I wanted to lazily do it. But once I pull it out of there, I'm gonna fix it up some more and probably add some more plates to it and stuff. It's not gonna be very pretty, but I'm gonna make sure that it's strong, you know, it's not something he's staring at all the time. But I did the same thing on the bottom. On the bottom here. You know, pretty much saved the piece I was gonna use on the front and I'm um, Gonna do the same thing, basically cut it and reshape it and make it so it's nice and strong. And then the frame modification, you can see, really may have not have had to do that. I just need to tap it out a tiny bit more right there. But really what I think this does is, one, when I was trying to put the transmission in before, I had the wrong T-bracket, so the transmission was jammed over into this. But too, with the clutch on and stuff, it, this will make it much easier to get the tranny in and out. And I don't really want to be scraping the frame rail all the time because I do plan on redoing the engine bay and stuff. So, well, now I'll take that out and weld it up and then we'll stick it back in there. the thing all welded up and I actually just painted it too you know it's really not the greatest you know fabrication or anything I could have done a nicer job but really just wanted to get it done and made sure it was strong I just uh, <clears throat> you know cut these <clears throat> out of these pieces that I cut I just cut them off uh, off of an old bracket I had down there and added one there and one right there so now it's got two holes. Now I actually realize why 
the one you got from Hasport has two mounts on it because it works in an EK and an EG. But anyways, I, I basically just welded them together really good and, and put some really thick metal, you know, welded a piece right there. And then I welded another piece, actually two pieces, one there and one there, and just really, really boogered them in there, really put the heat in it. But it should be good. I'm, uh, I'm actually going to just stuff it back in there right now, and I think that I'll call it for this video. But next time, I'm going to actually be doing the diff mount now. I'm going to actually make some wheel cribs right now to mount the car on the wheel crib so it's completely level. And then I'm going to check the pinion angle of the uh, transfer case and then, you know, build off from that, you know. But uh, thanks for watching. If you like what you're seeing, hit the subscribe button. And uh, if you want to check out the custom diff mount I'm doing next, keep an eye out for the next video. See you later.